In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to request calendar permissions in Outlook and explore various calendar functionalities. Let's dive right in. First, we're gonna start by heading over to the Microsoft Outlook webpage. Once you're there, the next step is to click on the sign in button. This is typically located at the upper right corner of the homepage. From here, you'll be prompted to enter your login details. Now, it's important to make sure you're entering the correct email and password. Once you've double checked and everything looks good, click on next to proceed. After successfully signing in, you'll find yourself on the Outlook dashboard. This area is your central hub for all things Outlook. It's where you can access your mail, calendar, contacts, and more. Our focus today is the calendar, so let's move on over to the calendar section. If you look to the top left corner of your screen, you'll spot the calendar icon. Click on that and you'll navigate to your calendar. Once you're in the calendar view, draw your attention to the option labeled Add Calendar. This feature allows you to incorporate various other calendars into your Outlook system, which is particularly handy if you're coordinating with multiple schedules or, or managing different projects simultaneously. Go ahead and take a look at the different functionalities available to you here. For instance, you have the option to edit your existing calendar, which can be useful if your schedule frequently changes. If you find yourself needing a clean slate or want to organize different activities into separate calendars, you can create a blank calendar with just a few clicks. This functionality is great for setting aside specific calendars for work, personal activities, or long-term projects. Additionally, you might be interested in subscribing to calendars from the web. This is particularly useful for staying updated on things like holidays, sports schedules, or even concert dates. Similarly, if you already have a calendar file, you can easily upload it to integrate with your current calendar system. Don't forget, you can also enhance your calendar by adding holidays and birthdays. This functionality helps keep personal reminders on your radar, so you won't miss important celebrations or time off. Even though the new Outlook 365 doesn't offer a direct request permission to function anymore, you can still view others' calendars, provided they've shared them with you. This can be managed through the Edit My Calendar section. And there you have it. These are the essentials of managing your calendar permissions and functionalities within Outlook. Feel free to explore these options as they can greatly improve your productivity and schedule management. Thanks for watching and happy scheduling.